Welcome back to Everyday Mountain Bike, but if it's your first time here, hello. My name is Mark and I will be taking you down a few trails at Harmony Hill in Downingtown, PA. You may have seen this on my channel before, and if you haven't, you can view the full trail guide and some other videos in the card above. Harmony Hill can be a great place for beginners all the way to expert mountain bikers. The trails here are labeled extremely well and all mostly contained in a hillside area. There are maps at the trailhead you can grab a picture of to refer to. Using the trail names found on trail forks, the trails rank from easiest to hardest in my opinion as follows. Blue Trail North to Yellow Loop, Blue Trail South to Yellow Loop, Angry Bob, and then finally Blue Trail to White Black Trail. The green trail can then be used as a climb back up to the top. All these trails follow the hill down to the paved path that follows the Brandywine Creek. After this, you can use the green trail for a relatively lively climb back up to the top. This is how most rides go, getting in laps much like you would at a small hill area. The runs and climbs don't take too long for intermediate riders, and I'm usually able to ride all of these sections leisurely in about two hours. This time, however, I decided to venture across the creek and across the road to the other more rocky trails near Harmony Hill. To get here, follow Smeagol all the way along the creek. This is a flat, rolly trail with a bunch of twisting and a few features along the way to the other parking lot, or you can just take the paved trail there. Once here, cross the busy road and head up Bradford Avenue about 50 yards. Then find the trail on the left. It's easy to spot. Head all the way up here where you might have to hike a bike up to get to the old railroad tracks, which are no longer there, but you can still see the old bridge. Feel free to explore the other trails further up here, but for me, I just went back down. There are a few options to get down. A crazy steep chute all the way near the bridge, which I did not attempt. It's an expert line for sure. Then there's a skinny ridge trail that gets steep and flows down the hill into the gully. And finally, there's a sidewinder trail that is so much fun and labeled connector on trail forks right off Bradford Avenue. I stuck with sidewinder. It's a trail I was told about and had to try. I'm not super good at it and the sides are quite steep in the beginning, but here's how it went. Dropping into the sidewinder trail. All right, side wonder, take two. <clears throat> I could do all the sides, but didn't really get one full clean run in. It's a spot I'll have to come back to and clean in the future. So with that, I'll end for the day. Harmony Hill is a great place to come back and explore. This rideability makes it fun for all levels of riders and keeps me coming back for more. This Sidewinder Trail is a great addition to my route here and offers a new challenge. I'll definitely clean this by the end of the season. All right, Sidewinder take three. So now if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing as it leads to more and better videos delivered straight to you at no cost. Also, please share this video and the channel with others if you found it useful. Any way to promote mountain biking in the area is beneficial to the community. Stay tuned to the channel for more trail guides and helpful mountain bike videos. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you next time.